Good morning and happy Monday. I'm Monica Wofford, and this is your Monday Moment. Now, if you were to meet a person with an accent and then begin guessing where they picked it up, it's a risk. On a date, guessing if she's from East Texas or Dallas, because there is a big difference in those accents, <laughs> that might be seen as coy. But at the office, guessing if your potential client is from South Africa or Australia might be slightly inappropriate, but in this case, benign. But, but take it a step further and confuse accents from Middle Eastern countries or Asian cultures or make sarcastic comments about things the French always do in your limited experience. This merely reveals your ignorance and is often offensive. Maybe you've been around the whole world and you know the world is filled with different values, different sounds, different accents, different beliefs of each person in each culture. And each heritage requires that leaders must be a bit more clear about showing respect to each and every one with which they have the privilege of interacting. Now this comes across most readily in your communication delivery. You may not know the custom or holiday, but you can certainly inquire in a way that still shows your level of respect and courtesy for their heritage. You may not know which elf on the shelf to order for the office, the black one or the white one, but you can certainly respectfully include the team in such a conversation before you make that decision. Communication means we talk with each other. And when it comes to culture, the key element that must come before all others is respect of each other's similarities and differences. I'm Monica Wofford, and that's your Monday Moment. We'll see you next week for more Talk on Leadership.